It's like game chasing go. Sometimes you need console TVs. When you come into a situation like this, you just gotta ask yourself, at what price are you willing to take the risk? What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> Everyone knows Texas is a big state. Four, three, two, one. Which means we got a lot of games here, and it's our job to find them. Join us on our epic quest to search for retro games. And give them a proper home in our game room. So we found a lady on Craigslist who had a listing for a bunch of retro video games. We're going down near Cleburne and apparently there's a some event going on today called Antique Alley where everybody and their mother from a five mile stretch takes all their junk from their homes and businesses and puts it out on the curb and stuff like a big giant garage sale slash flea market. And this thrift store from this ad that we're going to happens to be in that area. So before we hit up the Craigslist ad, we're gonna take a look and see what Antique Alley has to offer. Ooh, I hope it's still open at 3.40 in the afternoon. Well. Why is it that we always do this? Who do we have to blame? Why do we always do this? <laughs> finding anything so far. Uh, a lot of uh, antiques and, and crap. So after we walk around town a little bit, we decide to go ahead and hop in the car and, and go down the road. And uh, we see you know a couple of yard sales here, so we pull over off the side of the road, get out and go check it out. And uh, you know, it's cause some, some interesting things, some knickknacks, you know, maybe even an antique here or there, whatever, and um, didn't see any get any video games, so we ask. Very important, Game Chasing 101, you always ask. If you don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. She has some N64 games. So she goes into the house, she comes out, pops them down on the table, a whole bucket full of them. Just roll. I was gonna try to buy them all at once, um, but you know, the guy was kind of, I think he said 200 bucks or you know okay whatever dude so let me just let me just i want these like three or four two two three four games here you know what are you gonna do on them snowboard kids two and clay fighter 63 and a third uh we got at this place initially they didn't have any video games yet, but that's why you always ask kirby 64 the crystal shards and uh donkey kong 64 three dollars a pop why not they wouldn't let us, they wouldn't let us shoot. I guess they were uncomfortable with the camera. Nope, you're not gonna get raped. We didn't even know this was going on today. We just kind of had to Really? Oh, yeah. man, yeah, it, it, that's weird, yeah. We found some ad on Craigslist about yeah. some antique store or something. Yeah. That, you know, gonna be reopening at five to seven. Well, there's no possible way we could cover all of this. At this point, we're just gonna, it's late in the day, of course. It's. <laughs> It's late in the day. I mean, if we got started, you know, early, early in the morning, then perhaps we could have covered a lot more ground, obviously. We see signs everywhere too. Yard sale this way, garage sale this way, you know, just signs with arrows. So we, we, we follow a few. We stop at one house, again, not knowing what to expect. There's a GoBot Psykill. Oh, this is a Commodore 64 game. Too bad there's no game in it. I'm glad we stopped at this place. Well, Billy, think there's something you might be interested in over here. It's an old 80s style console television. There's nothing better than playing uh, in television games and Atari games on a big honking, big, giant, ugly, beautiful console television. And they're only wanting $10 for it. Heck yeah, I've been wanting one of these. It's like game chasing go. Sometimes you need console TVs. So we asked him if they had any video games. Like always, always ask. And they said they might, they went and checked, looked around. Well, they came up with Bill Elliott NASCAR racing boxing manual for the NES. 
I didn't have the box or the manual, so I offered a dollar for it. I got it. Now I got a complete copy of Bill Elliott's NASCAR Racing. I got the console TV for $10. They also had a bag of Transformers slash GoBots for $2. And I also got two Gremlins storybooks for 25 cents. We've rummaged through Antique Alley, found a little bit here and there. Now it's time to go find this lady from Craigslist. Okay, so I think we need to start just knocking door to door. Yeah, I've been saying that's that for two, a while now. Okay, that's two places now where we've gone and scored some kind of game. Something, something. I mean, and, and well, they, they went back and got a box. Got you a box for, for the and, and you know they had the game somewhere, they just couldn't find them. We're walking into this place here and it isn't a thrift store as so much somebody's house, but they have a lot of games here. There's nobody around and we're looking around for a good five, six, seven minutes and finally uh, this little lady comes out and real nice, you know. Hmm, um, how much are the games? Uh, they vary in price depending on the type of game. It's usually not a good sign whenever you ask somebody how much their games are and they come at you with a spreadsheet. Where'd you get your pricing from, if you don't mind me asking? Online. I guess she priced from eBay or something and had everything individually marked. Um, what about the Uncharted Waters? Uh, that one's $7. Illusions of Gaia? That one, $5. Uh, Zelda, let's see. Oh, that one, I have 30. 30 bucks? Um, like what? Just name the prices on them. Okay, 13, 33, 9, 27, 4, 14, 20, 2, 17, 27. She's really high on the 5200 games. I'm just hearing double digit numbers for all these 5200 games and I'm just thinking, it's really weird because she's low on the high stuff and she's high on the low stuff. It's good and bad because some of the stuff was a little high but some of the stuff was, was low. And she has Yoshi's Island priced at $5, which is a very good deal. Let's see, you wanted Uncharted Waters, Yoshi's Island, Romance, and what was an illusion? <laughs> What's the total on all that? <laughs> How much is this all game right. right here? Oh, well that one, mm. That one's $3. I'll take it. Okay. Stupid Melvor takes a stupid little meat claw and it's like, oh, Montezuma's Revenge. I'll take that. I, I don't see why if there's something that I want, I have to, you know, hold off on it and, and basically get the scraps um, from Billy and Jay. If I see something that I want, I'm just gonna get it. Did Melvor catch me slipping on that one? I, well, I guess by the definition of he got it and I didn't, yeah. I'd seen um, um, reviews of the game online and it looked pretty good. The graphics actually look surprisingly good for an Atari game. Mm, seven, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. So Billy's looking at this 3DO. I'm excited because I've never had a 3DO. I've never run across a 3DO while game chasing. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any hookups or a controller. Asked Lady how much she wanted, she said $30. But she's not sure if it works. I mean, you're asking the wrong person. Okay. A lot of this stuff was my sister's, and she said, well, you're having a, a sale, just bring it out, and gotcha. sell it, and here are some gotcha. prices, so. Because gotcha. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to buy unless I know if it works, because these can be really finicky uh -huh. um, sometimes. So I'd really want to test it out before I got it. Well, do you so. know? What goes with it? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't. I don't see it. I don't see the hookups. Oh, you don't. No. Okay. No. Well, then I don't. No way am I paying thirty dollars for a CD-based system that I can't test and don't know if it works. CD-based systems are very finicky. A lot of moving parts. They break a lot. So when you come into a situation like this, you just got to ask yourself: At what price are you willing to take the risk? But I can make you a deal on it. I'll, I mean, since you don't know and I don't know, I'll sell it for ten. Um, I'll take it, yeah. 
I'll definitely take the risk at $10 and hopefully whenever I eventually get all the hookups for this thing, it'll work. Okay, so that's 15, let's see, so that's 18, and um, I'll do an even 30. 30 even. Well, Jay ended up getting Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2, Yoshi's Island, Illusions of Gaia, and Uncharted Waters. Stupid Melvor ended up getting Montezuma's Revenge on the 5200. I got my 3DO, plus she threw in a game, Seal of the Pharaoh. Ended up bundling everything together, and she gave us a deal of $30 even on everything. So uh, all in all, um, pretty good day at Antique Alley. We'll have to come back uh, next year, or six months from now, or I don't know, whenever the hell they do it again. Today I'm meeting Jay at Sights and Sounds in Arlington. It's a store that just recently started carrying retro games. And Jay, over the past few weeks, has been establishing some sort of a relationship with the owner. Started talking to him, told him what we did, you know, we are the game chasers, gave him a card. Somehow he got them to agree to basically call him every time they got new inventory in. Two days after we were there, I got a call from him. And he's like, hey, I got these boxes of Nintendo Powers. I want to give you guys first dibs. Come on in, check them out, pick through, get what you want before I put them on the shelf for the public. I cannot wait to get my hands on these. Uh, there are those three boxes right there, the ones like these. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. Uh, let me know whenever you guys are ready. We'll... We're ready. I'm ready now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's come around this side. It can be very difficult to collect for Nintendo Power because you find an issue here, an issue there. Very sporadic. So I always have to keep a list on me of what issues I need. And hopefully I can leave here today with a big chunk of what I'm missing. We'll just do like this. We'll just do three boxes. Lay it out like this. So where did, where did you guys come across these? Um... So can... I'm not really sure. When Brad gets back, I'll let him. I'll, I'll ask him. He he bought them from one guy. And I think he bought them all for like a hundred and something bucks. I open up the first box, start pulling them out, and this is somebody's complete collection of Nintendo powers in pristine condition. Now, unfortunately, it only starts at volume 21, but still, I'm not going to complain because there are just so many here that I am missing. Are any of those pretty good? I mean, I don't even know what, what's, what's in there, but some of them look pretty old. Those yeah, are the ones I was telling you about, those index. I called Jay on the phone the other day and he was all like, yes. Nintendo powers aren't really my thing to collect for. Just, oh, uh, yeah, I read them as a kid, but I, I don't know, just, it's just not my thing. Definitely right up Billy's alley though, so he's in hog heaven. Looky what I got. A list of what Nintendo powers I have, <laughs> and then the ones I need, I'm going to put a little stack right here. If given the choice, I would rather have a complete set of Nintendo Power magazines as opposed to a complete Nintendo collection, simply for the fact that I can open up a Nintendo Power magazine at any point and it'd be awesome, but how many times am I going to play Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum or Silent Service on NES? Now, of course, that's not to say that I don't want a complete NES collection. I do. That would be awesome. In fact, Pat, you know, you got like 400 duplicates there. You know, how about sending some scraps my way? Quit being stingy. I actually lost out on a bid on this on eBay for, I like I lost out on $2. <laughs> $2, I lost out on it. It's really difficult to pick a favorite volume, but if I had to, I would say it would be number 28, simply for the fact that I was anticipating getting a Super Nintendo so, so bad. And when Super Mario was featured in that volume, it made me want it even more than I already did. Every single solitary day, I would sit down and just read the spread from start to finish on Super Mario World. Anything good in there, fellas? Any good ones in there or no? Uh, some of the ones I've been looking for. Good, good, yeah, so. good. I thought maybe he might have some older ones or some good ones in there. Yeah. That's why I called you Jay whenever, you know? Absolutely. None of, sure the, none of the super You guys got first pick out of everything. Oh, well, I appreciate These it. These guys are the best. So I make sure. Nothing beats uh, opening up a Nintendo Power Magazine and just spending 10, 20 minutes just remembering how awesome it was to be a kid. Oh, great. Another box of useless shit. I think Rue's wife is pretty cool because we share the same thoughts on husbands that just keep bringing home more boxes of useless shit. Well, it just depends on what they're asking for, you know? 
Well, let's find out. I have a stack of about 40 magazines here and I don't even have any idea what he's gonna be charging for them. But I need to get as many as I can now because you don't run into a situation like this where you can, for the most part, complete a large chunk of your collection in one fell swoop and not have to pay shipping. So what are you looking at on these? Because that's gonna determine how many of these I start taking off the stack. About 50. About 50? Uh, there's no way I can get that many for about 50. Mm. Uh, Dollar? I paid 50 cents on them, so. Oh, you did? Well, hey, these, they look like nice guys. Give them a deal. Yeah, what kind of deal? What kind of deal? I mean, bulk them, just like from yeah. this whole sack. What would you give them for that whole stack? I don't know how many is in there. It's like about 42. Just hook me up with a deal here. Just please hook me up with a deal here. If we lose money, then you don't keep your job. I hate you understand this place. that? I already have the top secret players guide, but I went ahead and put that in the stack as well because, you know, having a duplicate doesn't hurt. I'll tell you what, I'll take this one out because you could probably get about this one, I think, like 10 bucks online for it. Okay, there you go. But hit me with about $50 for the entire stack. I thought a good thing to do would be to point out that this particular magazine you could probably get around 10 bucks for online. So I figured uh, making him aware of that would give me a better deal on the, the magazines that I really want. Uh, it's about 40. 40, about 25 and you get to keep that one. All right. I'll do that. That's a deal from hell. Right there, 25. Very so, nice, uh, Jay. I love these guys. <laughs> You can't beat that deal at all. Uh, I don't know what that comes to. Maybe Rue can use his science to figure it out. That's the way game chasing go. It is less than a dollar an issue, probably around 75 cents an issue. Boom, scoreboard, I'm happy. Billy does not need any more magazines because all it's doing is collecting more and more dust. On top of that, the stack of magazines on top of the toilet lid is growing to be a much larger stack than is necessary. The world needs more sack people. Always good well, to see oh, these guys. That's the way it's Hagler, you know. As, 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 uh, and that guy, I want to give that guy a beer. When he's as, done doing that, he deserves a beer. As John Wayne would say, you know, you're the best haggler. <laughs> and I almost lost my job over it. So what is that, you know? With the deal that I got on these Nintendo Power magazines, you know, there's only one thing left to say, and that is Game Chasers 1, Rue, 0. It's... The words fail me. I thought you were talking about the... Yeah, I do actually want to talk to you about the games. What do you... Um... Remember I told you... And then calling him when you get retro stuff in. Right. That's, that's basically, I mean, what do you, I know you got them individually priced, but what if I just walk away with like a dollar each? A dollar each? Mm hmm. I could do that. Could do he that. can do that. I like I money. I do too. But I like, I like games too, though. So. <laughs> One dollar a piece on video games? Looks like I'm spending some more money here. I think I'm going to pick me up some common titles and yeah. just beef my collection up. I was actually going to get that. I don't usually do PC games, but it's Star Wars. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> you hang out with these guys? Look at them. Everyone's been crying about us having an uh, N64 wrestling match due up. And these chuckleheads over here have dropped the ball. None of them have a 64 wrestling game. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick one up for them. I got that game. You know what the funny thing is? Huh. I got that complete in box. So I helped myself to a little Castle of Illusion on the Sega Game Gear. I got 1080 snowboarding on the N64. Wanted to check out the game since I saw uh, Derek's review on it, Happy Video Game Nerd on RetroWareTV.com. I wanted to I wanted to check the game out myself, never played it. And for a dollar, why not? I'm going on record. DWG and Pantigo don't count as cities. I picked me up a triple play on PlayStation 1. Love baseball. I picked me up a Baseball Stars and a Lunar Pool. And I also picked up a Siphon Filter on PlayStation 1. There are no great deals. You're still spending money on useless I right. want him, I want whenever you come in or whenever, this needs to be the guy you call first. Okay. That's for when great. you get any retro stuff in, Jay, 
Yeah. These guys are gonna be the first guys you call. These dudes are actually really cool and everything. They're just like, hey, you know, after you guys are done filming, y'all gotta have a beer with us. And I'm just like, fuck yeah. Chuckleheads. Hey, to the chuckleheads of the world. The chuckleheads <laughs> yeah. of the world unite. Hell yeah. <laughs> Heck yes. I'm down. You know, the Dongos drink. <laughs> I love that. That's what I love about this guy. I'm gonna clean that up. Can you guys come in here every day? Yeah, can you guys do this like yeah. every, let's do this every week. I don't see why not. <laughs> why not? So walking out of Sights and Sounds, Always I have a pleasure. an you amazing load yes. here. <laughs> load. So awesome that we found another place to go find retro games at a really good price. Um, again, another guy who realizes good deals are going to be repeat customers. We love you guys. We love you guys. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> It's pretty cool and it works. Okay. But they're getting ready to move, so. Is that video games? Um, no, they gave them to me. Oh. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, yeah. I guess you have the video games right. now. Right. All right. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thanks.